Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hope Not Plans. This is Brooke, and today I'm coming at you with the first section of my June haul. Um, you guys have already seen one of the first orders I made in June if you watched my Scribble Prints Co. D stash haul. So these are some orders I placed early in the month of June that I wanted to share. So let me push one part off to the side and get into the first order. So this is an order from Once More with Love. Let me start pulling stickers out. Um, so I did order during her sale and most things this month were either sales um, or like new releases that I definitely did not want to miss. Um, so this was during her belated birthday sale, during Marg's belated birthday sale. Um, so the order came with this journaling card that says I've loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night and you have the munchkin climbing the ladder to the stars so that's really nice and then she just put a little thank you note in here um, thanking everyone for supporting the shop and then we did get two samplers um, I got two samplers in this order so we have this pride month sampler you have three different little munchkins proud um, in all rainbow letters and she put love 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 all that matters is love so these are super cute and I'm definitely gonna incorporate one of these into my um, like pride spread that I have um, that I'm working on right now and then this is the June munchkin sampler um, obviously we have Cruella here we have a singing munchkin don't know who this guy or this guy is, but these look um, like Hercules inspired, maybe. Can't really tell. But anyway, super cute. So two little samplers. And then for once more with love, if you put the phrase super oops in the notes to seller, you can get a few sheets of oops stickers if they have any in stock. So I ended up getting three sheets of oops stickers. Um, so I got this cleaning 2.0 sheet. Don't know when I'll use those because I've mentioned I'm not really like a cleaner. And then this tantrum sheet. Um, I don't have kids, but I could see using this like maybe when I'm just not feeling that great and upset. And then this um, oop sheet of munchkin mail. So I don't know what happened with these four, but not mad at it because I can use these for a bunch of like happy mail things in addition to munchkin mail. So going into what I actually ordered, I got some new, I guess new to me, because um, I haven't bought from Once More With Love in a few months, new to me stickers as well, I think as some, yeah, I got some old ones that I like as well. Um, so I got these reminder work um, stickers just because sometimes I do get a little lazy. I got the Black Lives Matter sheet the need coffee sheet because there are some days that you just need all the caffeine to help the add to cart sheet which I have bought before and I really like I haven't run out of it but I wanted to make sure I got another sheet before I did the anxiety sheet the Netflix binge 2.0 which I like these and I know other shops do it the same way because like you have three specific Netflix ones but then you also have the two generic like watching TV and like eating popcorn ones. So I like that there's a mix of specific and generic. The watch scary movies sheet, which I am definitely going to be using in October because I like to dedicate, dedicate most of my movie watching in October to like horror and Halloween adjacent movies. These theater half boxes, which I plan on using for when I go to movie theaters. I have been back twice in person to a movie theater, to a chain that's local to my area, and you know, still a little anxious about going in even though I'm fully vaxxed, you know, I'm still wearing my mask, um, just to be safe because I do um, have high risk family members, but you know, people are far away enough, there's enough spacing for it to feel um, safe in there for me and my family that I go with. So I'm excited to be able to use these since I am actually going back to theaters right now. And then I bought the film edit upload stickers. Um, it's my first time buying these from her, so I'm excited to have a different variation of those character stickers. 
and then YouTube binge which again these are great because you can use these if you're like uploading or doing some other YouTube stuff whereas like the binge and the popcorn are just like binging ones so that's nice I got the subscription arrived sheet as well um, currently I'm only subscribed to the SPC sub um, but either way like it's still nice to have these sheets to market and then we have zombie 2.0 bye 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 shopping spree again just like all the shopping stickers which is ironic um, couch potato I can see using these for like lazy days which luckily I've been having a few of those which is nice and then the lay tired sheet I thought was really cute and clever um, so those are all the stickers I got and like I said I bought this during her um, birthday sale so I did get I think it was like 10 or 15 percent off I don't know but um, it was a good deal and then it's always nice to get the super oops and really good um, samplers so that was my order this month for once more with love and then moving into my next order I have my glitch sale order from glam planner so this was on June 12th, which I remember because I had rehearsed for my dance recital that day and was stressed about getting my order in, but I was able to get it in before we started. So I also tried to limit myself to a budget, which I only went a few dollars over, which is not bad. I ended up getting three kits and then two different grab bags. So the first kit I got was the Luxe version of Parisian Cream or Creme, I guess, based on the spelling. I just really like this one because I see it as like an anytime or like spring summer kit in particular, but I just think it's a really um, interesting color palette. And then I'm really a big fan of this print, um, and especially like using it on the washi. I wish she had used more of it, but I really like um, that washi print. So again, this is the Lux Glitch, so it doesn't come with all the extras like the glitter headers or the like fashion girls or extra boxes. Um, so I did already place an order to fill in the items that I wanted because there were some boxes that I wasn't a fan of, so I didn't buy those. Um, the next kit I got is Ursula, which I have been wanting this one so badly since I saw the art released. Um, I haven't collected all of her princess kits, but I have bought a decent majority of them, and I really love that she's coming out with villains. Um, I do plan on getting the Corella kit soon enough, and I also love that she does have the light skin and deeper skin tone options for this kit as well. So I went with version 1 of the Lux kit. And I just feel like the color palette that she picked for this um, is perfect as well. I feel like this could be um, technically like an anytime kit, although when someone asked in the Facebook group, I had suggested um, that you could potentially even use this as like an alternative Halloween spread just because like she's a villain and I would see this as um, a cool like nod to um, villainy and evilness during the month of uh, October and Halloween when most people try to celebrate a little more um, throughout the month but definitely excited to use this one and then the last actual kit that I bought um, I think it's called Peach Bellini. I know a lot of people, different shops call it different things. Um, but it's the like peach artwork from SLE Studio. So I really like this artwork and wanted to get it just because I like what Elle did with it. And then I love the like peach print as well. That just looks really cool. And I feel like this one, um, I, like I feel like any of these could be any time, but I feel like this would be a great spring summer kit option. And I love this print. I didn't pay attention to that one before. And then you have like the peach print washi, but super cute. 
And I just love that it's like obviously an orangey peachy color because I feel like that's a color that's not really featured a lot in kits. Um, so I thought it was really cool that um, she, that SLE Studio released this artwork. And then of course, um, Elle always does great things with her artwork. So those are my three kits that I got. And then I did get two grab bags. So I did get the glitter header grab bag. I am a sucker for grab bags and I always get at least the glitter header grab bag or the fashion girl grab bag and this time I did get both so these are the glitter headers I got these are really cool I have no clue what they're from but they look great um, I did already go on the website and identify a decent bunch of these glitter headers for the ones that are still on there like I think from yeah from change your fate on I was able to identify the majority of what I got um, so I do have some repeats like I have multiple change your fates which is fine because I matched it with another kit that didn't have glitter headers um, and I just think it's great to have the option um, of like splitting stuff up because if you guys watch my July kit lineup I did use um, some of these to supplement a kit that I didn't get glitter headers for and I was super excited because I did actually get one glitter header that I needed for Ursula. So I'm going to put this in with the kit right now while I'm thinking about it. So I don't have to worry about it later. And that's one less extra I had to buy on my supplemental order. So I was really excited not only to get these glitter headers, but specifically to be able to identify them. And the fact that this was a lot of like newer kits was really exciting too. Because as you'll see in the Fashion Girl grab bag, um, there's a lot more like recent artwork, which is really exciting. Because there were, obviously there's some repeats just because I buy a grab bag like every sale. Um, but I just think it's really nice when there's more of like frequent stuff. So this is the Fashion Girl grab bag. Um, got a very large amount of like the big ones so I'll go through these pretty quickly I think this was like a mystery fashion girl and then we have this one and then we have this sunflower one which I've gotten before and then we have from I don't know if this is from the like ice cream mystery that came out this year but this one and then I love that this is a redheaded girl because I do have red skewing hair so this is really pretty for like a wedding which <laughs> ain't gonna be me soon but you know keep to hold on to and then this looks like it's from the um recent mother's day kit i think it's like best mom ever so this is really nice and then you have these kiddos for what looks like a thanksgiving spread so going into the big um like fashion girl boxes we have these fashion girls and I know they're from a very recent, like, rainy day mystery. So that's nice that it's recent artwork. I was super stoked to get these. This is from, I think it's like the Red, White, and Barbecue fourth kit that she came out with. So this is really cool because I will definitely use these, if not this year, next year. And then we have these uh, fashion girls from, I think it's the Baby Shark kit. I know this is Kittenish Girl Jess art. Looks good. And then we have these, like, mountain ski ladies this is super exciting I don't think I filmed a haul when I bought it or I did and it's just been so long I don't remember I did buy the Cleopatra mystery from I think it was like August 2019 or maybe 2020 with foil from a glitch sale in the past and it did not have this double box or the fashion options. So getting this sheet is super exciting because I'll add that in with that kit. So I'm gonna put that on the side. We have these Christmassy looking ladies. We have these beach going ladies. And then the last two I have are the like variations from this year's kit. So again, something super recent, the like Canada, day spread and then the other July 4th kit that Elle came out with this year. So um, very pleased with both of my 
grab bags, please, with all of my um, stuff from this glitch sale purchase. And yeah, so this is the first clip for my June haul. I'll see you guys in a minute with some other goodies. Hey guys, I'm back with a new clip of my June haul. I have some oldies and some new things, so let's get into it. First up, I'm gonna go through my Glam Planner order. Um, so I ordered a bunch of stuff to fill in gaps from my last book sale order, as well as some other kits. I'll explain why I got those in a minute. Uh, but you can see a lot of this will be like fashion girls. So I did get the Fleur kit, so I got the Fleur fashion boxes, the Fleur fashion girls, the hand boxes for Peach Bellini, the glitter headers for Peach Bellini, fashion girls for that kit, the hand boxes for Parisian Creme, the glitter headers for Parisian Creme, and then the tall fashion boxes for Parisian Creme. So these were all things to fill in the gaps from my last glitch sale. And then I did purchase from Print Impressions 40% off uh, for your anniversary sale. I did purchase a B6 planner because I am planning on having a B6 and then a A5 wide cloud for next year. So I did end up getting some bitty kits based on bitty kits that I liked or already had fashion boxes for. So I got Miami Sunset because um, I do have the fashion girls for this kit. Bloodbath. And then I think this is the newer version of Christmas Village. And I'm not going into all of these just because they are bitty kits. So they're only two sheets and they are older so you can find them um, in someone else's haul. Let me get in. I have two things from Scribble Prints Co. One is from the BST and then the other one is the July Mystery. So I'm going to go into my BST order first. Um, I have been dying for this movie theater mystery kit for so long. If you guys remember in my D-Stash haul from a few weeks ago, I did get one of the pages from the Ultimate Kit. Uh, this is a December 2019 mystery, if I didn't say that already, so this is an older kit, so I thought it was going to be hard to find, and it was, but I found someone in the BST who was selling, I think this is the mini, I'm going to pull this out quickly to go through it, um, and obviously it's a very old format, but I am super excited for this kit because I'm going to use it for the week of the Oscars, which I think are going to be in March for next year, so planning super far ahead but I could not resist because I am a huge movie buff um, going back to theaters already just really excited to be going back and it does have all the extra see of the label the tall fashion box glitter headers so I'm super excited to have this kit and I'll probably try to get it from someone else at some point again just because I think it's so cute. And I do really love um, that it can be an anytime kit as well. And then uh, the seller did include the postcard from this, which I actually have another one of these, so now I have two of these, which is pretty cool. And then she included a whole extra kit. Um, it's like super old format, so I'm just going to flip through this really quick so we can see. I don't know if it's titled Sweet Like Candy. These are the full boxes. Washi, and like you can see there's one character sticker missing. All of these. This is a pretty like recent old format, and then the bending is my fault from storage. Um, but these are the fashion girls from this kit. So I figure I can use this in my B6 next year so it won't go to waste for like a spring or summer kit. So I'm super excited for that. And then I am going into the July 2021 mystery. So if you haven't seen it, be ready to go for about like two or three minutes. So this is the July 2021 mystery. This is artwork from Kittenish Girl Jess. 
And obviously, um, the July kits from Andrea are always fall themed. So I'm really into this artwork. Um, you have the fashion girl in front of the car here. It looks sort of like a camping trip, as you can see by like the lantern and bags and trunk here. You have like the canteen and uh, like picnic basket. Have stuff for s'mores here. I think this is like a pumpkin pie or something, I can't tell. And you have another girl here, outfit flat lay, and then house double box. So I'm really into this one. It's a really nice fall color scheme. You have a mini kit page, washi, and then I love that the um, feet could be any couple really. And you do have your other fashion options. You have your labels and such, and you do have your extra color. And then since this is the mini, um, we get the foil sampler, and this time Andrea included the like big foil sampler, and it's not really reading this way on the camera because I have my lighting set up a little differently today, um, but this is a beautiful orange foil, um, and if you guys have seen the ultimate, it's like a fall leaf foil, so I am definitely going to be looking for that either in the BST or when Andrea brings it to the shop. So super excited for this July mystery kit and I'll be using it in September. September is going to be my like all fall art month because I plan on doing October as all Halloween. So I will see you guys in just a sec with some more of my other orders. Hey guys, back with another clip for this haul video. Um, and I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna go in with the smaller order first. Move this out of the way more. Okay, so I ordered from Simply a Mess for normal packaging. I haven't like opened open this yet, but you saw the tissue paper is sort of a mess, so this is what it is. Um, so this was an order I honestly had to pare myself down because uh, this is gonna be the last clip of this haul video, which I am splitting in two. Um, so you guys will see I bought a lot from both shops that I know and shops that I've never bought from before. Um, so obviously I've shopped from Simply a Mess before. Oh, nice little thank you from Jess on there. Um, so she has her standard journaling card, and this is a new one to me with palm trees, so that's super cute for summer. And then she does have a little freebie for the month of June, so you have some scripts. Um, you have like a paint grill, a bike, and then some plants, so super cute. Um, based on this die cut, I bet you can figure out what the kit is. Um, but I decided to go with the Vote Nope sticker. Um, to go with the kit that I ended up buying, which is the Pawnee kit. So this is Jess's exclusive art representing Parks and Recreation. I am a huge, if you guys know, huge entertainment fan in general. So movies and TV, yes, books, but you know, school sort of impedes that. Movies and TV are sort of my like veg out time. So Parks and Rec is one of my favorite sitcoms along with like The Office um, and Friends, you know, sort of standard. Um, so I did get the full kit and this actually is different paper than last time. I don't know if I like it as much. It is a matte paper, but it's not as like vinyl-y feeling. It's not straight like printer paper feeling, but it's also not um, like a thick feeling. Anyway, that's the conversation about the paper. Um, so these are the full boxes. And again, I don't think I've said this before. I do love that you get nine full boxes um, all in one page with Jess's kits. So you have, this is Andy's broken leg and the pit where he broke the leg. Then you have Ben at the primary from like the last season. Lil Sebastian. Uh, you have some wine glasses. So this could represent maybe like Donna or Tom and then I'm trying to figure out um, whose hand that would be because like Tom's restaurant in the last season you know he was big on wine 
And in the middle, you have Welcome to Pawnee, Indiana, first in friendship, fourth in obesity. So that's their like catchphrase. You have a nice Ron Swanson over here. JJ's Diner sign with some waffles. That's super cute. Then you have Leslie Nope over here. And then you have some elements over here. So you have the Vote Nope, like I got in the big die cut. You have the, I think this is whiskey. Oh well, yeah, Scotch whiskey that Ron likes to drink. And then Mouse Rat, which is Andy's band. So I really like these full boxes. And then this page you see some of the like deco you have like a bigger thing of the mouse rat full like jj's diner um, this is an interesting color scheme i feel like this is definitely an anytime kit although um oh i love this it has the song lyrics on here um i feel like this could be definitely like a springy kit like it's just very like woodsy in color scheme and then, like I said this is the full kit so you get the heart checklist which I'll be using in my new B6 and then you have the extra seven day tracker and then you have like extra little things labels and washi so um, super happy with the design I don't know I don't know if this is new paper or old paper. It feels like old paper. I'll have to go back and look. Um, Cause I don't remember if this was like a reformat or what, cause it's been several weeks and my brain is fried. I'm filming this at the end of one of my like class days for my residency. So literally I've been in class three hours in the morning and then three hours this afternoon. And that's not even our longest day. So um, I'll have to look back on details from this kit to see if this is like new paper or old paper. But other than that, super happy, super excited to have this in my collection and figure out when I'll use it. Uh, probably not this year just because there's a lot of fall art that I like and need to buy. And then of course Halloween is coming. I am huge on Halloween for like the whole month of October. So we'll see. Uh, but my last order I'm going to get into for this haul is from Planet Hannah. So you can see, um, actually like a bunch of freebies at the bottom. Um, so this is from her first year anniversary sale. Love her shop. You guys have seen, I think, almost all of my orders from her shop. Love almost everything that she does. I'll buy a good mix of everything. And I was super excited to see that she was having an anniversary sale. And obviously you can see I got there early since I did get the first 25 um, sale freebie. She did change her journaling card. So it's this nice, um, I guess like corally color. And then on the um, like decorative side, you have like the flower print. So that's really pretty. So let me go into freebies first. Yeah. Okay. I'm sort of jumbled. I like mixed all my stuff together so it's a little funky so sorry about that um i did choose for the pr freebie i put in carly from carly plans because i don't think i got her yeah i didn't get her last freebie because this is her second pr term um love carly plans go follow her if you aren't but you probably are um uh, we have this full box and this is sort of like a um sort of like pink orange fun foil you guys can sort of see it with my phone camera it's not the best um, but we have a full box overlay that says no rain no flowers then you have two scripts target and up weight and then I do have the camera icon the like meal plate and then the printer so those are cute and then let me go through this um, first 25 order freebie bag. I was like super determined to get this. So I ordered it in like the first 30 seconds. So yay me. Uh, but these are just freebies from different shops that Hannah is friends with the owners of. So you have this um, sheet from Carly Plans shop. You'll be seeing, I did a purchase from her in my next haul video. So you'll see that. It looks like some of Hannah's favorite things like chicken nuggets, Disney, 
nachos for like Taco Bell, wax melts, printer. Um, so cute little stickers there and a little freebie from Crafty Planner Co. with some character stickers. Actually can use this one, just had McDonald's this weekend. Some cute stuff. And then we have some scripts and icons from Kinsey's Creations. Definitely will be keeping this on the side. Um, I mean, these are all pretty useful scripts. And then uh, a little code down there if you guys catch that. And then we have some different icons, like I said, over here. And we have another little freebie from Sugarbox Stickers. So these are a lot of food doodles. So you have like the Happy Meal, Nuggets, McFlurry, Fries, Burger, it's like a burrito, Crunchwrap, no clue what this is because I don't eat much at Taco Bell right now. The like frozen drink, whatever it's called, looks like some tacos. Uh, this is something fancy, it looks like a fancy shake. Maybe like chicken strips, bucket of chicken, maybe chicken sandwich, and like a full like chicken meal. So these are cute. And then we have some full box overlays from Sticker Obsession Co. In this really nice hollow. Um, you are the one you've been waiting for all your life. And then what is life without a little risk? So those are cute. And then the last freebie, um, sorry it's all bent, this is my fault, not Hannah's fault, um, is this rose gold foiled freebie from Scribble Prince Co., which is normally the $300 freebie. So that was a freebie that I got for being one of the first 25 orders. And then I did put in the comments, she was doing oops bags. So I put oops into, I think it was just like the notes to seller. And this is my oops bag that I got. So we have these um, green header overlays. You can sort of see the green that way. We have this one, you can see it's sort of cut a little funky on the icons, but otherwise it's good. Um, so this looks just like an unfoiled freebie. And then we have these drink icons. This looks like an extra. She did say there was like extras included in addition to like, oops, quality stickers. And then we have these uh, foiled scripts that say mow the lawn. It just looks like a regular gold. It doesn't look too far cut off, like it's a little close on the top, but nothing too bad. And then we have, um, I think this is just like miscut. Um, it's a hollow. I don't know what this pattern is called, um, but you can see it's not like, oh, I think it's washi. Yeah, it looks like washi overlays. Yeah, so you can see it's like the two short, shortest pieces here, and then the two like long pieces, and then like the extra long pieces are here. So that's cute as like a um, washi overlay. And then this is a sheet of it says coral, so this must be like the coral print, and it's sort of like a bronzy foil. So this might have just been like a test run. I think it's supposed to print like this. That's what it looks like. If not, it's still pretty. Um, so these are like underlays. And then we have these astronomy underlays and they're just not foiled, but I still think they look really cute. So I might use these um, in some sort of kit. And then this, oops, super excited about this one. I see there's a little like fold here, which could have been me. Uh, and there's a little bit of like foil oops here. So you can definitely see why she didn't sell this one. Um, but this is a gold Harry Potter a uh, full box overlay sheet, so I will definitely use these. I have two Harry Potter kits, definitely, if not three or four. Yeah, three. Um, so I will be using them with, um, I know there's one kit I definitely have gold foil underlays from Hannah already set with. So I got some really good oops stuff and some stuff that I'll probably pass on in a giveaway, which I have no clue when I'll do that, but you know, we'll figure it out. And then moving on from those, I did keep this order small, so that's part of why I was really eager to do the like first 25 um, freebie, just because I knew I couldn't do bigger than a $50 order, since that's where she started her tiered freebies at. 
Um, but let's get into what I have. I'll go into my scripts first. Um, so this is up early in her first font. That's been happening a lot really lately. You can tell that I'm tired today. Um, and then yoga. Just trying to get back into that practice. I just feel like it feels really good for my body. Again, this is font one. Um, we have Angry Bitch, which I'll be using these to back plan a good bit. Um, font one. This is the, I don't remember what it's called. It's not like, maybe it is the self-care sampler, but it's a script sampler. It's self something. I have one of these. I'm using it up. I really like the variety of both the quotes and the fonts. So I got another one of these and then I'll put these together. I got tacos and nachos um, to mark in my planner, font one. And then this is the first time I'm getting these workout scripts. This is, I keep saying this is font one. I think this is font four, guys, because I alternate between one and four. I think this is font one for a workout and nap. Forgive me if I kept saying the wrong thing. Uh, so I got two of these workout scripts in this font, which I think is font one. Everything else has been font four. More naps to replenish my stash in font one organized stickers in what I think is font four, whatever the like non-bubble font is because she did introduce a new font. And then finally, sad bitch in font four. So got a lot of scripts this time. And then um, I did get a bunch of overlays. Let me put together. Um, so I got two of her, cause she did add a bunch of new overlays. So these overlays are her new Halloween overlays. I got silver up here and I got gold down here. So I'll just show you um, one. I have no clue. Like I have an idea of what I want to use for my Halloween week spread, but I am planning on doing Halloween kits through the entire month of October. So we'll see. Um, I think I'm probably going to use like a mix of both of these throughout October and then have some left over. So excited to use those. And then like chronologically next up is the birthday overlay. My birthday is November 13th. Uh, so this is, I think it's gold hollow. Yeah, because I am using this January 2021 mystery. So this past January's mystery from SPC with that um, like mixed foil. I bought it from the buy sell trade group on Facebook since I wasn't subscribed to the mystery yet. So I know I'll be using these with that kit and then I know I'm not using all of them. So I'll have them for next year as well. And then finally, I bought her Thanksgiving new overlays. These are also in that gold hollow. I just thought it was really pretty because um, I do plan on doing a Thanksgiving week spread. So yeah, just a like smallish order, but I really, I went early to make sure I maximized my freebies with my small order. And I'm really excited to put some of these to use. I've been waiting to use some of them for a while, actually like holding up some of my spreads. But yeah, you guys will see, um, I think next week I might do a plan with me, but I definitely need to haul. I bought from a bunch of new shops in June as well. Um, I've just been waiting on one order, which is on the way. So thanks guys so much for watching. This is the end of this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.